Lester Chambers joins me now. Lester, good morning to you. Great to see you. Thank you for being with us. You know, you just heard my conversation with Professor Eddie Glaude talking about how, uh, you know, churches were a, a big force of, of getting people uh, riled up around the civil rights movement. But psychedelic music was, too. In fact, you call it a great rhythm marcher. Right. A great rhythm marcher and a great crowd gatherer. Tell me a bit about the, the, the pressures you felt, felt back then as you were doing this. Well, the pressures were danger and fear of your life. It was just total chaos. Uh, people did not respect uh, color at all. So it was not easy to feel comfortable while you're driving from state to state across country. You actually uh, talked about being warned by various groups and agencies not to get into politics, not to have politics play an over mm -hmm. role in, in your performances or, or how you do things. And yet you do talk about the fact that it was inherently political. Yes, it was very political and uh, still is. It's still a very, very political thing. Music has, uh, has the uh, key to all kinds of doors. You, uh, you, you, you survived in an era of uh, uh, protest music. It was anti-war. It was civil rights. Uh, there were things like that going on. And music did bring people together for those causes. Tell me what, when you look at what's happening today, the renewed civil rights movement that we've been watching for the last couple of years compared to what you saw in the 60s, what do you make of it? Well, I'm, it's, it's saddened to say that and to see this uh, all over and after all those years have passed, it's, sad. it's a sad thing to see. I think, I think once again, <clears throat> we need to open up the uh, airways to music. Music brings the world together and people's minds together. It gives them time to think about great things. If you're listening to great music, you can't think about bad things because the music is great. And the words, the, the lyrics to uh, Time Has Come Today and, and a number of other songs uh, that, that you wrote back then, it, it's interesting because if you read them in a vacuum, you wouldn't know you're necessarily just talking about the 60s. It could actually be relevant to 2020 America or 2022 America. It is, it is, a, it is a, as irrelevant then as it is today. And today is very, very important that people get the message. Time has come and people are tired of, of you know, what, what we're going through and what we're having to live with and how we're having to live with it. I think music has such a great, great, you know, it has rhythm, it has sound. Harmony is the key. Harmony. We need to put the world in harmony, and music can do that. I think a music can save a city or a town. Lester Chambers, it's uh, good to have you back here. It's good to have you back on the scene. You're performing again. That feels good to you? It feels great to me. It, I love it. Moon Alice is the greatest thing in the world today, Ali. It is the greatest. Moon Alice is, we're bringing it back. Uh, Moon Alice, Saka, of course, uh, uh, Roger McNamee, whom many of our viewers see all the time, don't necessarily know that that's uh, what he does. Is uh, Talking about the Internet and important things like that is a side gig. Moon Alice is his main gig. I'm glad he introduced us. Right. Lester, great to see you. Uh, congratulations. We're looking forward to seeing and hearing a lot more from you. Lester Chambers was the lead singer of the Chambers Brothers.